I knew right away it wasn't going to be a traditional story with a protagonist, you know, with a hero we follow, because it really is a story about a community, about a collective. We have characters who are aware of Trump's walls. The business major, who's, she's supposed to be writing about the humanities wing, but in her heart of heart, she just wants to be a photographer. So instead of working on her paper, she's just like thinking about Trump and just like walking around and trying to escape that through her photos. So we have those types of characters and we see how they try to deal, respond to, you know, escape that news. And then with the other characters, it's actually just people just going about their work in the humanities wing. Uh, going about their, their research and their creation and, and, and their kind of everyday struggles. On his way to the bus stop, the creative writing professor looks back at his building. What he needs to know could be real. Humanity's wing. A home for all we build when keen to be our most probing and loving and honest and open selves. Oh, it's, I guess it's a kind of dramatic irony for us. We see how that work affected and shaped and sometimes giving us kind of hope in contrast to the news of, of Trump's walls. The building itself, with this brutalist architecture, it has the feel of a poem. And it felt like I'd never seen this building before. You know, walking around with the lens, so it was just like a completely different building. And I hope people come away wanting to make something, you know, wanting to respond, wanting to make a, a creation of their own. Believing in the humanities.